Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. Uh, I know me and Nathaniel have even Morgan out there doing some training on the boat and then her going through the decoys, all the stuff. Also, that's been going on, honestly, it's been a blast. Kelly, I feel like, is doing it abnormally good, but it might be just because I haven't done it in a while, but it's crazy how fast they learn. Honestly, they pick things up so fast. I remember telling, do you remember me telling you that? Like, it's like every time you go out, they learn something yeah. big, you just, it's crazy. Every time you go out, you're just so impressed with them. So this video is gonna be a little bit of a series of days spread out because we're gonna start working on, I think she's six months today, huh? Is it 23 weeks? Yeah. So 23 weeks today. So we're like a week shy of six months which is totally fine, but now is where the work begins. We've uh, been anticipating this and waiting for this to happen. I know Nathaniel's been excited about it, but it's gonna be, uh, it's not just like obedience training now, it's this is where the work begins. So today is the first day, day one, of heel training. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start with the heel training today, and we're not gonna do nothing crazy. We're just gonna do straight lines, okay? with a turn in it. And I got all these links in the description below, okay? But this is a 30 foot floating check cord that we've been using from the very get-go. And uh, tell them what you did there, Nathaniel, on it. Well, I put the knot in it towards, when I put it on her neck, it stays to where it won't come off all the way and just give a bunch of slack and then she'll be stepping on it. And yeah, just perfect on her neck. So I'll talk more about what we're gonna do, but just make sure, let me zoom in on that and see how he just kind of made a knot. Are you gonna be able to get that out? Yeah, it comes out really easy. Okay. Because at some point, guys, you will have to take that out when she, as she grows and stuff. But she looks like she's ready. Her towel's wagging. You ready? Huh? Okay. He's going to end up taking her collar off, everything off her neck, and uh, put that on. And then we're going to start. Just go right here, and he's just going to go straight lines back and forth with her. And as you're doing it, you've watched the videos, right? Yes. With Chris Hagen. Uh -huh. Do you understand everything he pretty much said? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to say really nothing. Simple, it, it really is, yeah. I'll kind of explain as he's getting her ready. As he's walking with her, if she gets out of line or is trying to veer off left or right, he's gonna check her with this check cord, right? He's gonna check it, kind of pop her. And with that slack in there on her check cord, it's gonna leave a little bit of slack. She's gonna be walking, and if she's like starting to veer off or not staying in line with him at healing, he's gonna pop it, like pop her to remind her, hey, this is what you're supposed to do. He's gonna keep her basically right out his, you know, ankles. Basically, his calves right there by her, just like he would. And when he does that, he's gonna say heel. So he'll pop it, say heel, if she gets out of line. Now, Chris Aiken says when she's doing good, to say good girl, good girl. So she's getting the point through her head, you know, that she she is doing good. So I'll kind of talk through it as we go. But again, I'm not. I'll try not to do so much talking once we get going because after this. Then we're gonna do outside circles, inside circles, figure eights. We're gonna make it, start making it tough on her. There you go, guys. See how much slack's in it? But it's not gonna fall off her neck. <laughs> she has never done anything mm -hmm. like this. This is totally fresh, guys. They'll chew at it, nip at it. They'll figure it out, though. Okay, you remember Nathaniel, though. Hold on and tell her sit. Remember uh, to say heel. When you pop her, say heel. Okay. But don't say it unless, if she's doing good, say good girl, good girl, you know? Oh, one more thing, guys. Which foot do you start off on? The left. Always the left. If you have your dog on your left side, you gotta start it with your left foot every time. This is huge. Very, very important. Always start out with your left foot when you start to heal. We'll probably see a little chaos here for a minute, but it's okay, because okay. she'll get used to it. See what Nathaniel just did there? He kind of brought his right foot around the back and kind of tapped her on the rear. <clears throat> That's another method that Chris uses. Because he really, when they when when you stop, they should sit right away.
Okay, hold now. It's, stop for a second. <coughs> there, she did that good. Good girl. Okay, now between here and there, let's do two stop and sits. You know what I mean? Okay. Make sure you stop first before you say sit. I didn't say anything. That was good, see? That was good. Okay, he's been doing outside circles, which is totally fine, meaning she's on the outside in the turn. He's gonna do some on the inside and what that will do is help kind of him check her with his leg so she's kind of getting the hint like okay we're turning because it's it's tricky at first but she'll get it she's already picking it up fast so let's go ahead and try that and you don't got to feel forced to walk fast or anything just walk which i know you already walk fast anyways nathaniel but gives her time to think a little bit more Good. good girl. That was good. good girl. All right, guys, we're on day three. So we started on a Thursday. Nathaniel worked with her a couple more times. He worked with her Friday, and today's Saturday. And so we're now we're gonna amp it up a little bit. Um, we're gonna do some sit stay. We're gonna do which sit is the same word so you don't say stay he's gonna do straight lines real quick and work with her which she's already doing way better and then we're gonna throw in some outside circles and inside circles start doing some crazier stuff maybe some loops she's definitely progressed since two days ago she's doing really good Get her to do it quick, pop that collar. Pop it until she sits. See, she's doing good. Another another 10 to 15 days, she'll be right on top of him. She's actually doing really good for her third day. She's doing good. Okay, sit, throw a sit in there. Get it quick, you gotta make that snappy. So now what we're going to do is integrate sit stay, which again, sit is the only word you use. People use different words. Um, someone asked the other day why we use kennel uh, for everything instead of like place. But Chris, that's what Chris Aiken teaches. And the thing with that is as well, the less words to me that I can say in my book of words is the better and less confusing for the dog because kennel means into or onto. So it covers everything, jumping on the back of your truck bed, going inside their dog kennel, um, going on the dog stand, it's all the same thing. It may not, to us, is like, well, it's, it's a you know, dog stand, why not say place or whatever? Well, it doesn't matter because that word kennel means into or onto. So we're gonna do, right now, we're gonna do sit stay and what Nathaniel's gonna do, every time you step off on for heel, you're gonna take your left foot and step off with your left foot when you're healing. But for sit, stay, and the reason I'm saying stay, meaning that's where you want the dog to stay. You don't say stay, you just say sit. It's a redundant word if you say stay. But he, now he's gonna swing and pivot in front of her with his right foot and putting his hand in her face and saying sit. And then he's gonna back up and have her do here. So go ahead. Sit. Here. No, that's okay. Sit. Don't don't move to her, Nathaniel. Get her to come to you. Okay. Okay. Just we work that work that collar. If you gotta swing her around a little bit. Okay. Go ahead. Here. 
Yeah. There you go. Again, we we tie, we put this little knot there so it doesn't fall off, but you can put pressure. You put pressure, it gets their attention, right? It's not hurting them any. I'm gonna step in front, say sit. She's losing attention a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, sit. Grab the rope with my left hand, and I'm gonna step back with my left bat, left foot, as I say here, here. Swing them around. Sit. She's losing attention too. Yeah, Sit. she is. It's all right. It's only been ten minutes. Here. Come in. Sit. Just swing him out a little wide. Sit. Here. Swing him out. Sit. Sit. Because once we're done, once we get done with this, we can get rid of this like in another month, month or two, get rid of this and just do e-collar. And I won't have to say a single word besides hand motions and gestures with my hands or feet. Heel. 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 All right, day nine with Kelly. She's officially over six months old. She was six months old four days ago, five days ago. So um, they've been working on sit, stay, and heal for about nine days now. So we're gonna get started. Nathaniel's been telling me that she's kind of been pulling the old uh, I'm tired, you know, stunt when they're training, and that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna notice when you start working on some of this stuff, they're gonna act like they're tired, they're gonna lay down. That's just them basically trying to see what they can get away with and being kind of a little, te you know, teenager or whatever. No offense, teenagers. But anyways, so we're gonna get started. Let's see the progress she's made. She's definitely doing way better. Way better. It's nine days of work. Of improvement for sure. <clears throat> like I said, you already see her starting to yawn and starting to act disinterested. It hasn't been going two minutes. 
just gotta push through that. But guys, don't make your training sessions any longer than five to 10 minutes. You can do multiple a day, just don't go over that in one session. 15 at the max, Chris says. All right guys, this is the final uh, section of this video. Kelly will be, she'll be seven months. But this is gonna be the end of this video, this session right here. So I've showed you kind of progressing over time how much uh, her and Nathaniel have worked on and how good she's gotten at sit, stay, hear, and heal. They've done, been doing great. Every time I come out here, there's major progress. I just help where I can, but Nathaniel's been doing a great job. Been watching those Chris Aiken videos. And give a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this video. Share it around. But let's go ahead. Let's, let's see them work right now and uh, see how they're doing. Good. Outside circles are the hardest ones to do. Because <clears throat> they can, she's doing really good. That's good. Way better than last time. Notice how he puts his hand out in front of her. It says here. Puts his hand out. She comes in. Her tail's wagging. She's in good spirits. That's one of the things Chris says is you gotta keep them in good spirits when you're training. She's doing really good on the hill. <clears throat> that was good. That was good. She's doing good. I've just been feeding the same because she's She's 55 pounds yet or not. No. Guys, we're going off the chart on the Yukonuba. Nathaniel switched her over to the uh, the puppy blend for the large breed. And this does have uh, glucosamine and chondroitin in it as well. And then we're going off this chart in the back. And what was the last weight you got off her? I got 51 pounds. 51. And that was like when you came, like a week so that was a week or two ago, huh? And her coat looks really good. And she's got those love handles are gone. She don't look like Uncle Titus. And one thing I'm gonna throw in here, guys, with the, the dog food and the right dog food, if you live in town or in the city and you have a small yard, you might not notice it like they live out here in the country, but when you feed them that cheap stuff, and I'm not putting any other brand down, but when you feed them the cheap stuff, they go to the bathroom probably two to three times more than they do with this good stuff. Part of that is, is like the difference between me and you eating Taco Bell versus a steak and a baked potato. The, nutri the nutrition's not there. I'm not saying you Canuba is the only good brand. The reason I like it is uh, labs are known to get arthritis when they get older. So if you got that glucosamine and chondroitin in it, which is good for joints, you can help eliminate that. And to be honest with you, on my podcast, I, uh, we have a podcast called The MVM Show. We talk about this with dog trainers and stuff. And one of the things they talked about was uh, my friend had a testimony on there. He had a, like an eight or 10 year old dog lab that couldn't hardly walk because of arthritis. I was telling him about Yukonuba and he said, I'm gonna try that out. It wasn't even a month later, he had been feeding this old dog, old lab that couldn't walk, couldn't go up the stairs, fed him this food and uh, for about a month. And he sent me a video of that dog, same dog running up the stairs, running through the house, 
like there was nothing even wrong with it. So that was just proof enough to me to, that what I'm doing is right. So all in all, Nathaniel, how do you how are you feeling about I the training she, and everything? I think she's doing pretty good. I'm having a blast doing it, and yeah. doing it. So next after this is um, I know they've ordered the e-collar, and we I just bought Rocky another one because he's had his for four years, and it the other one broke. I end up getting broke because I. I don't know, I got smashed. But I ordered, I originally had a Sport Dog 825, so I ordered a Sport Dog 425X, and that's what they got the same one. So they have it in black, orange, and camo. So that is gonna be the next video. We're gonna go over the e-collar training. Some people don't like it, some people don't agree with it, but I, I believe in it 100%, and we'll go over that in that video about why you know, a lot of most trainers use the e-collars. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.